what's going on guys it's jay so in this video i'm gonna go over some of the best ways to get more collectibles uh both of my accounts i managed to get myself the f3 bailey i was able to get 750 collectibles which is the exact amount that you need to get yourself an f3 bailey you, you don't see it here but it was uh there was a pack for 150 collectibles for the bailey since I reclaimed it, it's not here, but yeah, it's 7.50, I was able to get that after like 2-3 days. Basically how I got it was I dusted all my super coins and that was enough to get myself the FDU Bailey. I, I think I had like over a thousand collectibles at one point. So yeah, basically just doing that, dusting all my super coins, roughly like 20 to 30,000 super coins per card. So per... 150 150 collectibles uh for like 20 20 to 30 thousand super coins but if you don't have that many um super coins and you don't want to dust another good strategy you could be doing right now is playing tlc tlc gives you collectibles per win you get two collectibles per win and you get to play four times so if you win all your all your tlc games that's eight in total I haven't played TLC in a while, I've been playing lately, so I don't know how long it is, but I know that um, the bounce refresh much faster now. I, I don't really have to do that since I already have my F3 Bailey, but if you're someone that needs collectibles and you don't have that many super coins, I recommend playing a lot of TLC. And if you're struggling and getting super coins, I recommend playing PvP and Money Bank. Both modes give you a good amount of collectibles. A good amount of uh, super coins per bout and also playing Royal Rumble and Elimination Chamber gives you 12 picks which also gives you a good chance of getting yourself at least one collectible yeah so stay away from war war doesn't give you as much super coins and you don't get that you don't get that many draft picks so yeah I, I would say play Royal Rumble or, Elim or Elimination Chamber both modes gives you 12 picks and you get more more super coins and if you have money, if, you, if you're not free to play, you can also buy yourself tokens, collectibles, 350 credits for 5 collectibles, and you can do it 10 times, so that's 50 collectibles for 3,500 credits. So if you have the money, if you're not free to play, you can also buy yourself collectibles. Alright, so I actually didn't claim this one here. I, I totally forgot, but yeah, I didn't claim my, my last uh, Bailey since I remember... I I did the um, rule the ring and that gave me an extra Bailey. So this is gonna this is gonna be my sixth Bailey. I already have her in F3, so this is an extra one. So I'm still getting more collectibles. I'm I'm gonna do a big a big collectible um, pack opening in three days. The last day of of this Bailey collectible event, I'm gonna be doing a, a big pack opening for collectibles on both of my accounts. I'm probably gonna be trying to get an extra Bailey, so I could do that in Ding Dong or in Hugplex. Either one gives you a chance of Bailey. I already have enough Fortify um, WrestleMania 40 cards. I'm gonna stay away from this. And yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you a lot. Um, let me let me know if JD McDonough is a pro. Fortify one, two, or three or a single for you continue liking the videos so let's try to reach 10 likes subscribe to the channel on the road to 850 subs and yeah all right guys